muscular dystrophy uh, muscular dystrophy this refers to the group of more than 30 inherited genetic diseases that cause the muscle weakness this conditions are a type of myopathy a disease of the skeletal muscle over time muscles shrink and become weaker affecting your ability to walk and perform the daily activities like brushing your teeth the disease also can affect your heart and lungs some forms of muscular dystrophy are apparent at birth or developed during the childhood some forms develop later during the adulthood currently isn't cure so who might be get muscular dystrophy they often run in the families a child who has a parent with muscular dystrophy may inherit a mutated gene that causes the muscular dystrophy some people have the mutated gene but don't have the muscular dystrophy this healthy adults can pass the mutated gene to their child who may develop the disease there are types of many different types of muscular dystrophy uh, nearly 30 types so some of the more common forms include Duchenne muscular dystrophy we can call it in a short form as DMD this condition tends to affect the boys between the ages of 2 to 5 but girls can get it too you may notice that your toddler has a hard time running walking or jumping as the disease progresses it can affect a child's heart and lungs DMD is the most common form of muscular dystrophy it affects approximately 6 out of 1 lakh children in the North America and Europe Beckler muscular dystrophy this is the second most common muscular dystrophy symptoms of BMD can appear anytime between the age 5 and 60 but typically come on during the teen years males are more likely to get BMD the disease affects the hip thigh and shoulder muscle and eventually the heart approximately 1 out of 18,000 to 30,000 US boys develop the BMD facio Capulo humeral muscular dystrophy. This is the third most common muscular dystrophy. The disease affects the muscles in the face, shoulder blades and upper arms. Symptoms tend to appear before age 20. Congenital muscular dystrophies. Uh, this is also the another type of muscular dystrophy. Uh, in the congenital conditions like CMD, they are present at birth. An infant may have weak muscles, a curved spine and joints that are too stiff or loose. Children with the CMD may have the learning disability, seizures and the vision problems. And one more deficiency is emery deficient muscular dystrophy. This condition tends to affect children. Symptoms such as weak shoulders, upper arms and the calf muscles appear by age 10. They also affect the heart. Limb gridded muscular dystrophy. This disease affects the muscles close to the body, including the shoulders and hips. It affects the people of all ages. Myotonic dystrophy. People with the myotonia have the trouble relaxing their muscle. For instance, you might find it difficult to get let go of the loved one's hand. The disease also affects the heart and lungs. Uh, one more deficiency is ocular pharyngeal muscular dystrophy. This rare form of muscular dystrophy weakens the muscle in the eyelid and throat. Symptoms such as droopy eyelids, lectosis and difficulty in the swallowing dysphagia often appear between the 40s and the 60s. Here we can look for the causes of the muscular dystrophy. Genetic mutation or the changes cause most forms of muscular dystrophy. One or both parents may pass the faulty gene to the child even if the parent doesn't have the condition. Rarely, a person develops the muscular dystrophy spontaneously, meaning there is no known cause. Here we can look for the symptoms of the muscular dystrophy. Muscle weakness. This is the primary symptoms of the muscular dystrophy. Depending on the type, the disease affects the different muscles and the parts of the body. Other signs of the muscular dystrophy include enlarged calf muscles. Difficulty in walking or running. They usually have the unusual walking gait. They used to have the trouble in swallowing. They also have the heart problems like arrhythmia and the cardiomyopathy. Uh, they, people used to have the learning disabilities. They have the stiff joints, muscle pain with the curved spine. Uh, people may have the breathing problems also. 
here we can look for the diagnosis of muscular dystrophy if a healthcare provider suspects the muscular dystrophy you or your child may undergo one or more of this diagnostic test one is a enzyme and the protein blood test they check for the elevated level of enzyme called the creatine kinase high levels can indicate the muscle damage caused by the muscular dystrophy uh, next one is the electromyography they measures the electrical activity of a muscle and nerves a muscle biopsy look for the cell changes in the muscle tissue genetic test identify the gene mutation linked to the muscular dystrophy how is muscular dystrophy managed or treated researchers are still looking for a way to cure the muscular dystrophy disease symptoms get worse over time but these treatments can help physical and the occupational therapy strengthen and stretch muscles these therapies can help you maintain the function and the range of motion speech therapy they helps those who have the problems and swallowing corticosteroids such as prednisolone and the deflocort may slow the disease progression surgery releases the tension and the contracted muscles and corrects the spine curvature heart assists the devices such as pacemaker they treat the heart rhythm problem and the heart failure medical devices such as wakers and the wheelchairs can improve the mobility and, the, and prevent the fall respiratory care such as cuff assist devices and the respirators aid the breathing so here we can look for the complications of the muscular dystrophy they affect your muscles heart and lung as the disease progresses you may be prone to get heart problems such as arrhythmia and the heart failure people may also get a respiratory infections like pneumonia and the breathing problems uh, they have a complication like choking so how does the muscular dystrophy affect the pregnancy women with the muscular dystrophy can have the healthy pregnancy because muscular dystrophy is inherited you may want to talk to your genetic counselor before conceiving during pregnancy your healthcare provider will closely monitor your health to help you avoid these complications like increased muscle weakness and limited mobility due to the weight gain people may also have the breathing problems due to added pressure on your lungs uh, people might have the heart strain they can also have the miscarriage and the premature labor uh, mostly the people have low birth weight baby the weighing less than 5 pounds here we can look how we can prevent the muscular dystrophy unfortunately there is said uh, anything that you can do prevent getting the muscular dystrophy if you have the disease these steps can help you enjoy a better quality of life eat a healthy diet to prevent the malnutrition drink lots of water to avoid the dehydration and the constipation exercise as much as possible maintain the healthy way to prevent the obesity quit smoking to protect your lungs and heart get flu and pneumonia vaccines thank you